हरि ओम तत्सत वेलकम टू स्वामी ज्योतिर्मयनंद सोसाइटी आर जर्नी टू सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब फॉर द मिस्टिकल मीनिंग्स एंड टू एंजॉय डेली सत्संग विद अस वी आर करेंटली एक्सप्लोरिंग द बुक एडवाइस टू स्टूडेंट्स ऑथर्ड बाय स्वामी ज्योतिर्मयनंद जी महाराज नरेटेड बाय माय सेल्फ स्वामी निखिलानंद सो इन टुडे सत्संग वी विल कंटिन्यू आवर डिस्कशन ऑन कंसंट्रेशन एंड मेडिटेशन सिंस इट्स सच अ प्रोफाउंड टॉपिक so be a witness to your mind sit quietly close your eyes focus your mind between the eyebrows and simply watch the movements of the mind do not fight with the mind if it jumps around like a monkey just watch its movements like a spectator like a non interfering witness in the beginning the mind will wander a lot in different directions and will not obey your directions or suggestions but after some regular practice you will see that your mind will cooperate and behave like an obedient servant concentrate on abstract qualities if you concentrate your mind on the purity of buddha on the virtuous qualities of sages and saints on the concepts of eternity and infinity on the all pervading presence of god peace bliss or love you are practicing abstract meditation because you can't see these things you can't create a form like the love in the mother's heart <laughs> often this form of meditation adopts symbols for assisting the mind for example you may meditate upon purity as symbolized by the white snow on the mountains or divine radiance in the form of a brilliant sun or infinity in the form of the vast sky or the fullness of god in the form of the surging ocean you may meditate upon love by feeling that kind compassion and let it flow from your heart like streams of rain flowing from the sky visualize your love permeating the entire universe as clouds of good wishes for all of mankind that emerge from your mind and shower within the hearts of all beings let's meditate on cosmic energy also known as prana visualize golden clouds of divine energy radiating into your agnya chakra or command center between the eyebrows feel that your brain and nervous system are receiving the gentle rain of refreshing energy from them feel the waves of refre- refreshing vibrant joy sweeping over your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes meditate on the mystic ocean visualize a vast ocean before your eyes feel that you are sitting on the sandy shore watching the waves rolling on to the beach and then gracefully returning back listen to the heavy heavy sound of the ocean the vibrant sound of the ocean as you watch the incoming and outgoing movements next let your vision expand to the waves that rise and fall see only the waves on all sides there is no shore no sandy beach you feel as if you are riding on the waves you feel as if you are being rocked by the arms of the ocean enjoy the peacefulness of the moonlit night the full moon is shining upon the waves creating a shimmering luminous path of light across the vast ocean as if made of silver a silver sheet at night and the moonlight creates that beautiful effect now dive into the ocean and go deep beyond the waves into the great silence of its profound depths there are no waves there is no moon 
there is only profound peace and expansion. After a while, allow your ego and your sense of individuality to melt in the vastness of the ocean. Feel that you have become the ocean and your rolling waves are reflecting the light of the moon. Meditate on bliss. Feel that you are the self, the ocean of bliss. Different forms of happiness experienced by other people, by animals, by all living beings exist in the ocean of your innermost self as waves and ripples. The joy that reflects in the morning breeze, the joy that awakens the buds to bloom, the joy that makes the deer dance in the forest, the joy that spurs nature to put on different attires of exquisite beauty, that joy is an expression of the ocean of the self, the ocean of bliss. That you are, that is the self in you, which is the same as you. Meditate on Om. Place a picture of Om in front of you because Om is the smallest symbol and very profound. Every time you chant Om, you invoke Brahman. So engage steadily at that divine symbol. Then chant Om as sweetly as you can for at least five minutes. Close your eyes after you finish chanting and just meditate on the sound of Om that lingers in your mind. Develop the awareness that Om is the absolute sound of the universe. It is the essence of all sounds everywhere in the world. It is part of you. When you are seated outdoors in a peaceful spot, allow your mind to follow on different natural sounds around you, such as the humming of insects, the stirring of leaves in the wind, the singing of birds. Feel them that all these sounds are emanations emerging from the sound of Om. Mentally repeat Om and let your mind develop an intense feeling of love towards the Supreme Self. Every mental utterance of Om should be like an eager step towards divinity. As you continue to mentally chant Om, feel that you are touching the Supreme with every Om. Feel that the various divine qualities such as fearlessness, universal love, peace, bliss, wisdom, and dispassion, they are all flowing into your personality as an act of divine grace, as a blessing to you. Let's focus on some devotional meditation. Devotional meditation, be seated in a little temple or shrine that you have created in your home. Turn off all distractions such as your cell phones, TVs. Hopefully you do this early in the morning so there is no disturbance. Brahma Mahurata is considered any time between 3.30 and 6 a.m. So there you light a candle, place it in front of your Ishta Devata or deity, Rama, Krishna, Shiva or whatever your religion is, whatever God is, names and forms don't matter. It's the devotion within. Any symbol of your divine ideal is good. As you gaze at the candle and see the face of the deity glowing behind the flame, 
allow your mind to relax. Just concentrate on this moment only. Don't let any uninvited thoughts enter your mind. Relax. Think of nothing but the candle, your deity, and the overpowering, all-loving presence of God enveloping you. Feel that your heart is flooded with divine grace. Feel that a divine temple is unfolding within your heart and in it, seated on a luminous throne, there exists the divinity, the source of endless love, power and wisdom. Feel that you are adoring the divinity and coming closer to his glorious presence. So with this, enjoy, linger on this beautiful moment and express gratitude to God for his infinite blessings upon you. And with this, we conclude today's satsang. Tomorrow, we will touch the topic on what is real education? What is true education? Hari Om Tat Sat.